All right, so we're now ready to complete the installation for this template. And when you go to the location where you have this particular template uh, installed, for example, I'm, I'm installing this right now on the primary domain, the root. But when I come here, it's giving me this message that you need your host needs to use PHP 5.3 or higher in order to run you know this this version. And that is common. What you want to do is you want to go to the file manager, and the way that you get to the file manager is through your C panel. From your C panel, you go you click on the file manager, and from the file manager you want to locate wherever you want you're installing this particular template so I'm installing the public underscore HTML that is the root now if I had other files in here I would have a folder for this but since I'm installing this in the root folder I want to be able to locate the root folder or where I'm installing this particular template so I want to scroll down here if you notice you have a lot of files here and what you want to do is if you have a pre-existing .ht access file, what you want to do is you want to delete that. And the reason for that is whenever you create a new account, the host the, the system server automatically creates this ht access file. But we don't need this one because it doesn't have the information from uh, Joomla that we need. So just click on delete. And you want to locate the ht access .txt. So you click on it once you right click on it and you go to code edit what we're going to do is we're going to let the server know that we we'll fix this problem that's showing that we need to up uh, to use PHP 5.3 so we need to so this is what it looks like so you want to click where you see this two uh, hashtags here click above it and just hit enter once or a couple of times and I'm just going to paste the code in there. This code is going to let the server know that it's everything is okay now and we can complete the installation. So click save changes. Now there's one more thing that we need to do and that is we need to rename this ht access to dot ht I'm sorry this ht dot txt we need to rename it to dot ht access. Once we've done that click rename okay so we've renamed this file so now when we go back here to install it this is what it should look like now so you've passed that point the server now is saying okay you have permission everything looks fine to go ahead so I'm just gonna put in put in the name and you can put in description here if you want to that's not required now right here where it says site offline this is what this means is when you complete the installation do you want this site to give a message that the site is offline the general public will not be able to see if you click on yes but I'm just gonna leave this as no so for the email you can put in your email address here and then of course the username and also the password Now you want to make sure that whatever password you're using, you can remember it, and it's something that's you know secure. Once again, don't use things like one, two, three, four, five, six, or something that is 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 easy for people to guess because hackers will always use the common you know codes first to see if they can crack your uh, database. So once you've once you've done that, don't touch anything else or click on anything else. Next, you want to click only on where it says next. And if you, if you did that right, you should get this here. So where it says database type, just leave that exactly how it is. If it doesn't say my SQL, you want to change that to my SQLI. Scroll down where it says host name, just leave that to local host. And remember when we created the database, we had, let me go back here. we had a prefix this database so what we want to do is we want to take this database we need this in order to complete the installation so that's the username and I'm gonna put in the password and this is the database name and I use the exact same name for the database and the user 
So for the prefix here, don't change that. Don't touch where it says old database process. You should have uh, the backup share ready to click. So once you've gotten your, your setup like this, what you want to do is you want to click on next. And if everything is done correctly, it should take you to the final screen. Okay, so everything is set up. You get this uh, install sample data, data message here. And your screen should look identical to mine. So make sure that everything looks the exact same. But your database name doesn't have to be the exact same as mine. It won't be the exact same as mine because we're using two different uh, server usernames. So once you have all this here, the installation check, all those have to say yes and check these recommended settings. Everything is okay. And the final step, you click on install. And this is just going to take a few seconds or so just to, you know, just to create the database and the tables and configure everything so that you can immediately get access. All right, so once you've done this part, you don't want to X out the screen. You need to click this button that says remove installation folder. So click on it. And the reason why you do that is if you don't remove it, someone else can come and reinstall this on your server, which is something that you don't want. So now that you've successfully installed it, you need to click on to the site to make sure that everything is showing. Everything looks great. This is the template that we're going to use. Now we need to go to the administrator section. So what you do is wherever you've installed this particular template, you need to add administrator next to that. In other words, if it's the root domain, so you put in your root domain forward slash administrator. Or if it's a subfolder, you put in the root domain the folder name and then administrator. This is going to take you to uh, to the login page. So now I can be able to log in to the back end of the site and log in and everything else is successful.